Welcome to this week's uh, Peter's Perspective. Now this week we're going to examine uh, the consequences of the war in Ukraine on the global market for IT and engineering services. But before we go there, let's, uh, I share my perspective on the war itself, and I'm sure this is yours as well. This is horrific, and my thoughts and prayers go out to the people of Ukraine, to the devastation that's going on there, and the refugees that are flooding out of Ukraine into Europe and Pol um, Poland and other countries. Now, as we examine the broader consequences of this war, and specifically the uh, effect on the uh, market or the global market for IT and engineering services, we can see that it's going to have a significant effect there as well. The reason for this is that we at Everest, we've identified over 200,000 people working in the global market that is exporting engineering and IT services from Ukraine, Belarus, and Russia. Now, we may ask the question, why do we include Belarus and Russia? And the answer to that is sanctions. And we know that the centers in Belarus and Russia, which are considerable, um, are largely being shuttered now. And the work, what work that is going on there is being done for the local, um, local economy, not for the export economy. So we have over 200,000 experienced um, work from 200,000 experienced engineers uh, now being stopped. Um, now, this impact is um, the greatest on the about 50 firms with large concentrations. That is, they are dependent, have large concentration, talent concentrations in Ukraine, Belarus and Russia. These firms are largely, mostly European, but there are some American and global firms also in there. Now, clearly, these firms have the biggest, uh, most severe impact of this. These firms right now um, are significantly concerned right now with their employees or the, their employees of the third party providers they have been utilizing. And they're going through significant steps to try and support these people, in some instances, get them out of these countries. In many instances, these uh, men and women have put down their um, keyboards and gone to war, picked up guns, but they're trying to support their families. In the meantime, the critical services these people have provided need to go on, and these firms are looking to stand up delivery and replace that from other locations. This is going to prove difficult. difficult. And the reason for this is, uh, at this point in time, we're in a global shortage of um, experienced engineering and IT resources in all markets. So countries, uh, markets such as India, which in the past could have more easily be absorbed this, uh, are not in a position to be able to uh, contrib um, add, add to this delivery or maintain this delivery like they once were. So this is going to be a difficult task and, and, uh, and uh, painful for these firms. Moreover, it's going to affect the broader market. As I said before, the market is white hot for these resources. We, there are not enough engineers um, to go around for, to meet the demand. And now we're going to be looking at adding to that 200,000 more in the short term. This is going to be painful. It's going to contribute uh, further to the inflationary effects for these resources. And this is substantial. So uh, what we know right now is Many firms are facing attrition of 25 to 30% for these uh, difficult resources and often facing wage inflation between 20 and sometimes as much as 60% for these scarce resources. This um, price shock or this supply shock will further contribute to these difficult times. So once again, uh, I'm sure I express your, uh, your hearts as well. My hearts and my thoughts and prayers go out to the people of Ukraine and, and uh, as they suffer through this uh, very difficult time.